Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathPup Circle Angles game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games, puzzle games, and teaching tools to play online, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's always free and uh, to play and use. Um, okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start the menu, which, I'm sorry, when you first start the game, you'll see this menu. The More Games button will take you to our sister site, lofgames.com. And they also have online games, uh, both math and puzzle games to play. And there's never any membership or sign up required. And they are also free to play. The Video button will take you to the page on MathNook that has this page in case you'd like to, uh, has this video in case you'd like to see it again. The Instruction button, um, not much to show here that I'm not going to go over uh, in the video, but I just want to show you that they're here. In case you'd like to see them again, and this would that button there would take you back to the main menu. Okay, let's take a look at the game. And uh, you have the standard buttons here. This button will take you to the main menu. This will uh, refresh the screen with a new problem. This will turn the music off and on to toggle, as is this button, which will totally turn off all the sound. So right now you have a pie chart and you have the various items that make up this pie chart and it tells you the percentage of each and um, they're wanting to know in this each question is wanting you to measure get the measure of the central angle for the various items listed this particular um, question says what is the measure of the central angle in the bulb section so this is blue it's color coded bulbs up there so those match and that's 10 percent of the pie chart so in this one, you can always um, use a calculator. Well, you actually have to use a calculator either way. Um, you could either type in the number directly or calculate it and then submit it. And I'll show you both ways. And in fact, in this one, I know that all the angles um, in a circle equal 360 degrees. So 10% of that would be 36. So I can't type it in on the keyboard, but I'll just put it in there. And I'll go ahead and hit submit, and that's kind of covering up. It says it's correct, but I just want to see it again. Especially if I made it wrong. Uh, if I made a wrong answer, I might want to see what I did and what I had. You can drag it down and uh, just move it around so you can see what it, you know, in case it's blocking something. And it does say that. It says that I got the correct answer and drag this box to see your work. At this point, I can go to the next problem, recycle this screen, or go to the main menu. So let's go get an another one. And now they're wanting to know the angle of dahlia. And it's 30 degrees. And so I, could, I want to go ahead and calculate that. So I know 30 degrees is 0 0.3 or 0 0.30, same difference. And I'm going to multiply it times 360. And almost hit clear, which, which would clear out the values here. But let's go ahead and hit equal. 108. Submit. And that was correct. Let's go ahead and now it's saying, what is the measure of the central angle in the canyon section? 15%. Let's go ahead and do, uh, actually put in 10% times 360, which is wrong. Submit. And it says, sorry, please try again. And it tells you that the answer is, canyon is 15%. So the answer is 0 0.15 times 360 equals 54 degrees, and that's what the answer should have been. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. So that's how you play. Um, if you have any questions or would like to see any improvements or variations on this game, you can always contact us at info at mathnook.com. Uh, we're always glad to hear comments or questions or suggestions. And um, so that's how you play the game. I hope you have fun with this, and thanks for watching.